Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please, you know, drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe that you would really love to share with other people to be able to do the same please go ahead and do it's greatly appreciated um today i'm on my last reading oh my gosh y'all this is something like a trip and then some <laughs> on my tarot card reading i haven't did this for a while and i was guided to go back and do it it's really fun i really enjoy that you know just know i can take part in somebody's life to be able to help them change for the better or just being able to give you those unforeseen blessings that you didn't see coming um that you truly need into your life um and this is going to be my last spread of the virgo this is going to be for the month of may um, not everybody is going to resonate with the, the tarot card reading. Um, so if it don't apply, please let it fly. You know, this is just uh, insight just to be able to give you that, you know, that piece of direction on what avenue you need to take, what we need to break away from, what we need to stay focused on, and just being able to move in the right direction. That's how I see it. It's just like a go-to guide to be able to help out. So um, if you're ever interested in having a, a private reading, please, you know, contact me. You know, I would love to be able to do that. I'll leave all my, my contact information in the description box below. Okay, universe, universe, what does Virgo, beautiful Virgo, uh, need to know about the month of May? What is what is going to happen for the month of May? What is going on for the month of May for the, the Virgos? Okay. different this time okay all right all right Okay, somebody has not been meditating. They telling the universe is telling you get back on your meditations. There's so many different things that you're trying to communicate through, you know, through your meditation. So if it's like to bring you into balance and complete alignment, um, there's a lot of people that have really uh, went through a huge transition, trans ascension for a lot of us as well. Um, that you surpass past the level that you thought you were going to be at. And a lot of times that can take you out of whack, especially if you're not used to that vibration. And if it's been very, getting very uncomfortable, you have already moved, moved to the next stage. And that can be very, you know, it's a blessing, but a lot of times it can feel like a blessing and a curse at the same time. But this is something that's good for you. You know, it's a congrats. You're getting your spiritual flowers. You know, you deserve to be on that next level. You already learned the lessons from that and you're, they're moving you on, but you're moving in a very swift uh, situation. I don't know if you're you're seeing through things through child or I see um, someone missing a child because I see somebody looking down at them and they're patting them on their head and they're giving love. So there may be a concern about a child that you have been thinking a lot about. Maybe that you've been in a separation. I don't know if you've been in a separation from marriage or a divorce or someone you know uh, or you have a, a baby mom or a baby dad that took the baby and you haven't seen them in a long time you know uh, Mother's Day and Father's Day is heading towards us so you know that can be very heavy um, but there's a toxic friendship that's in the way of different things um, I don't know if it's just a toxic relationship with a friend with itself because it's showing me a mirror it's something that is mirroring out to you uh, maybe it's something that you, you know it you can have a lot of positivity going back but you may have not fully healed so certain vibrations make you go back to old ways and they're telling you you know that meditation they're saying the meditation will help you 
uh, with that friendship. If, it, if it's a uh, friendship with yourself that you, you know, a lot of times we're not friends with ourselves. You know, we, we place friendships uh, as higher values than we do for our own. And we can't do that. You know, you're supposed to be able to be your best friend first before you try to be best friends with anybody else. So uh, if not, this could be a toxic friendship that needs to cut ties. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is because it's, it's, uh, it's uh, fiddling with your manifestations, Virgo. You know, whoever this person is, it's just like a lot of people have this connection where there's negativity in a vibration where it's really trying to manipulate uh, manifestations uh, into your life. Um, but your prayers are going to be answered. So whatever it is that you're dealing with in a negative vibration, a negative connection, this is answering your prayers. Maybe you're healing from a, a, a karmic cycle that may be what that is, uh, that you're uh, going through a toxic cycle. And uh, it's like a toxic cycle, but it's a karmic cycle and it's coming to a close because I see a door close and then I see a lock. So you're allowing that to close. You know, that's the healthy way to do it. And that's the best way to do it. And you're allowing yourself to heal. That's why I said I'm closing the door for it. So it's coming to a healing a vibration that you truly needed in your life. And this is this is very beautiful because whatever it is, it's, it's really been having you up at night because I see a person that's crying. You know, you've been, um, this has really gave you, uh, it, it don't took you through a whole uh, whirlwind of changes that you, you know, you really feel like you didn't deserve and you don't deserve that because whatever this person did, uh, it really took you through it. And it's been those healing uh, vibrations is opening doors to new miracles. Like I said, it was another door closing and a lot, you know, when they say one door, uh, one door closes, five more open plus a window because I see a window opening for you. But it's like the archangel is trying to step in. Ooh, yeah, there's a gift that's coming towards you because it made my tip of my nose itch. You have a, a gift that's coming to you, a spiritual gift that God is uh, giving. And, you know, and you have to be grateful for those things. It's like it's giving you a gift of insight. There's something that's taking place. Um, and the miracle, of the archangel is trying to lead you towards this soulmate. You know, whatever it is, is divinely guided, is divinely orchestrated. You know, the, the archangel is really trying to get you towards the soulmate. Because this is something you've been working on. It may be uh, different uh, uh, kind of psychic advantages you may have been getting. Um, that's been telling you there's a, a soulmate that's coming in the way. Maybe, you know, it may be a twin flame that's trying to come in. Uh, and you've been healing that. You know, that you know, a lot of toxic cycles uh, guide you towards your twin flame relationship that goes in uh, union. Because whatever I'm seeing, I'm seeing hands like this. And I'm seeing light that's going around it. So it's something divinely guided. And so that's good. And like I said, <laughs> divinely guided. And then they see, you don't look at it. It comes up divine guidance in reverse. Yeah, because whatever it is, you know, they're still heavy in your mind or letting you know that they're with you. And this is, like I said, it's divinely guided. Next thing you know, the divine guided uh, uh, card came up. And, um, yeah, you went through a spiritual growth. Um, and it came from that karmic cycle. Ooh, that scared the shit out of me. Um, there's different things that has taken place that is letting you know um, that you're spiritual. Because I've seen a lot of people have been doing that. A lot of people have been doing that um, with, um, you know, that open the door to a new gift switch. And that mess has been coming up and it, and it just throws people out of whack. And, um, and it's really been taking people's place. But this is, you know, a spiritual gift that opened up is bringing you towards inner peace. And it is really doing that where you're, you're really, you know, you have earned that. You know, and you're needing that into your life. And these things are putting you in, in a balance that you really need. And it's telling you you have to be very strict with yourself on doing that. Because it's bringing you towards blessings. God, dog, Virgo, you got some stuff going on God, with you. You know, and you, you're deserving that. And it's just like blessings is opening up the doors for you. Okay? Listen to your music. Your music is guiding you to. You may hear something about celebration. You may, may hear something about peace in your life, inner peace. Because when I'm hearing it, I'm seeing like a halo, you know. And then I'm seeing um, there is just like I, I see a lot of angels like rejoicing for you. Because this is something that you have really been toying with for a while. And they know you've been doing all you can to be able to get through that. Like I said, freedom. Oh Lord, that's crazy. You're going through your freedom. You're going through that because they've seen that you've been trying to get that into your life and you've been working hard and you deserve that. And they tell you to trust the process. It's, it's taking you there. It's really taking you there. This is crazy. It's intense. Um, 
you know surrender and release whatever it is it has something to do with that friendship is like surrender and release whatever this person has done you know let that go you know universe is already bringing them out of your life and is answering prayers uh for you so uh let me put these over here until they bring tell me to bring up another one um and go out in nature it's like so much is um going on where it's telling you to go in nature these are the different things that are you know taking place into your life yeah it's like a spiritual gift because as soon as i put that down my bag on those start itching again it's something they need to tell you there's insight that's coming to you in your dreams and you need to remember those things there's very beautiful things that's going on in your dreams because it's like i'm seeing somebody and they're looking in the field of uh sunflowers i get those every once in a while sunflowers is based on abundance and that is you know somebody's looking at a field and they're not knowing the direction they're going to like i said <laughs> ideas and inspiration is like you're trying to figure out what are you going to do and that 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 came up right after that so you're going through that and you know it's like that the dreams are really showing you that because I, like i said it is, it's like um you're going through a cornfield not a cornfield maybe think about daggone children in the corn no not a cornfield but it, it's like you're out there and it is um uh, it's like a whole beautiful field of, of sunflowers. These are the things, and they're, I mean, they're big and they're pretty. They're not dying or anything like this. So you have strong uh, uh, vibrations, frequencies, and this is like built on abundance. Like the choices that you're making are, you know, they're going to be the right ones for you. And the right ones they're bringing towards that is going to be prosperity for that. And, you know, they're telling you to be honest with yourself. It'll be certain things you've been trying to toy around that you've been trying to do yourself. And they're telling you step out of the process of the progress. You're standing in the way. You know, you're saying, let let us do this for you. We got you. You know, and it's just like you, you see how all these little kids are playing, you know, and they're just telling you be true with yourself. Be magical with yourself. If there are certain things that you are really toying with that has really been hard to bear, they're telling you to go through it. And they're telling you that from the truth and integrity when you need to be honest with yourself there's so many signs that's telling you to stay true to yourself you deserve that into your life um uh, yeah something's merging into your life you got something bit very big that's coming in because when i see it i mean it's like a comet and this is like a comet is you know it, it can impact and when it impact you know it could be like armageddon type thing yeah because whatever is merging it had to uh the signs you weren't paying attention to the signs of the merging of the new beginnings because the new beginnings is trying to really come into your life um and your guardian angels has really been trying to get to you it's just like i don't know if it's like uh loved ones that have transferred over you may see them in your dreams and they're really trying to tell you hey we're here for you or hey you know there's different things that's coming underway you need to pay attention because there's certain things that they're showing you is like a caution sign is coming in but you're not recognizing your magic you know you need to know your magic you need to know your power because you really got it you know you really got a lot of power going on into your life and it's like you're uh you're a power source and you lost focus you lost sight on what is truly important to your life and they say get back on you know these are you are so close yet where it feels so far but you're so close like when i'm seeing it you don't realize it's like you're looking this way but i'm seeing something right over your shoulder that's trying to get your attention because this is something that is so beautiful for you because it's like a ball of light and something is like you have lost your focus on it because there's distractions in your way. And that's what distractions are there for. Self-acceptance. You accepted yourself, but there's some kind of truth you're not being honest with yourself about. You know, you accepted yourself for all the things that you're going through. And it's like a romance is coming into your life. And this romance is attached to your, attach uh, your uh, enchantment. Your uh, spirit guides, your new beginnings. It's just it's like something that's coming in. You know, uh, when you went through that self-acceptance, that puts you on a road for your romance to come in the case. But it's like you have to pay attention to the signs because they're coming in. And you base your intentions. You know what you want in your life. And this romance is a part of that. Everybody wants to be in love with somebody. You want something true. You want something that's destined. You want something that's faded. And you deserve that. You really do. And listen... You know, listen to the signs. Listen to the things that's coming your way. It's giving you your next steps that you truly, truly, truly need to pay attention to. And these are the things that is taking place for you that is truly beautiful. So you keep going. Allow yourself to do that. 
And the last but least, celebration. When you listen, you will know there is a celebration that is waiting for you. It's just waiting for you to open that door, let, waiting for you to cut those cords. And this is like right here. That That is a beautiful ending to be able to have that. Because I thought I had to pull another card and it said no. This is what it is. Because they went like this. You know, it's like if you're playing poker and be like, mm-mm. You know, this is it. You got a celebration coming. Choose wisely. You deserve this. You know, allow yourself to disconnect from anything that's no longer serving you. It has been around you too long. It's been marinating. Now, this is your time to shine. You got this. So, I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. Congratulations uh, to Virgo. You, I mean, you really, truly, you, you just really had this this really going for you and it's truly a blessing so you know congrats you know i'm glad this is for you if you know i hope y'all have a blessed weekend this is probably going to either come out probably tomorrow this is going to probably come out tomorrow so i hope you have a blessed weekend and please be safe and responsible with everything you do virgo you got so many beautiful things that's heading your way and even um you know, I'm adding towards weight of positivity and abundance for you. You got all it takes. You know, this is a good spread. You got so many different things that's going on in your life, you know. And it's not that you don't have too much of a huge change that you have to be able to adjust to. So it shouldn't be that hard for you to be able to, like I said, it's easier said than done. But these are beautiful things that's really taking place into your life, Virgo. And these, I mean, this is beautiful. So congrats, you know. Um, so whatever you're trying to manifest into your life, you know, I'm giving you so many beautiful blessings of abundance prosperity calmness healing stillness whatever you're needing I'm, I'm placing that on your vibration to open those doors for you so much love peace